Um, now here, I think there's no doubt that in experimental design, the Mendelian experiment, as we talk about it in classical genetics, he laid that out. His design was superior to any other experiment. Hybridization had been carried on for some time. He was not the only one to carry out hybridization experiments. Uh, but the design was superior to any others. Uh, that's to say, the individual characteristics were followed separately uh, and recorded throughout the period. Large populations were grown so that he had very comprehensive and extensive records reaching large numbers. Uh, and thirdly, he recognized not only that he did have uh, very high numbers to record, but that there were proportions between them. 